everybody. Today I'm bringing you a layout that uses some old papers from the Basic Gray Fresh Cut line. I love this line so much and I still had quite a few papers left from it and the only embellishments I had were from a very small sticker sheet but really it's from 2013 and as much as I love these papers it's time to get them on layouts and into my scrapbooks and out of my stash. So that pink paper that I'm adding right there to the multicolor paper is the uh, Orchid Alley paper from Fresh Cut and that beautiful multi-colored uh, watercolor background there is the Snack Snapdragon Shop paper and then I'm using a little bit of that of, a, of the border there and I just cut that from the Gardenia Row paper they don't the basic gray borders were not full 12 by 12 borders so I just cut a very thin strip from the border sheet that I had and I'm going to ink the edges of all of these papers uh, what happened is as I was putting that on I realized I didn't cut it straight I don't know how I did that but I managed to not cut it straight um, anyway so I I truly truly love this line and loved basic gray but it's like I said it's time for it to be out of my stash and onto pages I'm going to make a very neat discovery however about what I can use for embellishments besides the sticker sheet that I still own and I think I only ever had the sticker sheet for this line so you know the three pieces that are there now I am doing that and actually I told you the wrong that uh, light the paper on the left the pink paper on the left that strip is the morning glory paper sorry about that the pink paper that I just matted the photo with is the Orchid Alley paper just in case you happen to have these it's I don't know that you'd be able to get them anywhere but um, just in case I love this floral here so I am going to use that to um, put that on my layout there and I'm kind of thinking that I might want to I'm going to use this green paper here so the green gingham is gardenia row it's the opposite side of that floral paper which is on point in the background now I am actually scrap lifting somebody with this layout I saw Moira O'Reilly who's pretty active on um, Tracy Banks or Mercy Tierra's um, Facebook group and she I believe if I remember correctly helps her out with that and Moira doesn't post her own work a ton but oh my gosh she's so sweet she always leaves the nicest comments on my video so hi Moira um, but I really loved what she did with this layout. I thought it was a really cool way to use a six by six pad if you happen to have them. I didn't with this, but I made it work. And it just was a really cool take on splitting your background paper into three and then doing something really unusual. And I'm pretty sure I will use this design again. It was very much fun to create. So I had told her when I saw the layout that I was going to lift it and I lifted it in the exact same day so thank you Moira for your beautiful work and inspiration all right so now I've chosen to put the triangle and as it stands right now I pretty much lifted this directly from what Moira did my papers are placed in all the same um, directions and all about that so while I figured this triangle placement out because that was a little tough for me um, you know I just it's it's pretty much a straight lift anyway the orange polka dot paper that I'm using there is the violet garden so everything up until this point came from basic gray fresh cut and I just this was just such a light beautiful way to highlight this photo the photo comes from um, I do daily yoga uh, and it's about oh usually about 20 minutes a day I use a youtuber who I follow for my daily yoga and a friend and I started doing it. We were going to do it for 30 days in the month of June. It morphed into 60, then went to 90. And shortly after we started the 90, the friend and I who were, who were kind of doing, we do it separately, but we challenge each other. We decided to do it for 365 days. So I 
am committed to that. We are on day 121 today as I'm uh, narrating this. So we're about a third of our way through, which is really exciting. And I have to say, I feel amazing. Okay, so the this story is from, I happen to be up at my brother's place in um, kind of north central Wisconsin, and he has a pond not far from his house, and I decided to go do my yoga by the pond that day. I couldn't get too close because it's kind of sandy, sandy, and it was wet that morning, and it's also a little slope there, so I just went back, but I could really easily see the pond. So I just took a sticker off of the sticker sheet from Fresh Cut there. It's that little sun sticker and put it underneath the photo. I like that because I was doing this in the morning. I thought it was a perfect embellishment. And now I discovered that my Pink Paisley Page Evans Turn the Page collection matches this really well. I have one more layout to do with this Fresh Cut before I think I'm kind of done. And then I'm going to put, I think I might have one full 12 by 12 sheet left over. I'm going to just add it into the, into my um, turn the page papers because it, it will match it perfectly. So I just went to the puffy sticker sheet for turn the page and um, grabbed that butterfly. It's from the, it's called, um, they just called it stickers. And then there's the chipboard butterfly, the yellow one that I just put up there. And those are called the Fresh Start thickers. They are from Turn the Page, but they're called Fresh Start. And really, they aren't. there's no alphas to them. They're all icons and that kind of a thing. So the next thing I need to do before I do any other clusters is I want to get the title down. Moira did her title right on the side of the photo there, on the left side of the photo, and that's what I'm going to do. I think she did one large word. I'm going to do a couple of smaller words, uh, that those words being yoga by the pond. And I found the perfect tile letter stickers here. It's the October Afternoon Mini Markets, uh, the Land and Sea Collection. So they're a light blue with a light green letter, and they just they just work perfectly with this with this alphabet and you'll notice when I first put it down I missed the um, A in yoga I think it was the A in yoga that I, I missed but I realized it right away and kind of rearranged my title so there it goes I just wanted to make sure that that was going to fit in like how much space I could have between the letters so that's what I'm doing here And I'll just use my uh, Cutter B tweezers to get those stickers on because it makes it very easy to place them. And then because it's on the wax paper, it's really easy for me to make sure that my spacing is staying true as I do this across. I admire people who can just put their titles down and have the spacing worked out, but that is not me. <laughs> so I rely on my um, wax paper. At some point, I think I'm going to get the new thickers guides because I think those will be cool to do to use for this process and I'll still probably use wax paper as well because if I'm unsure of where I want stickers and that kind of a thing the wax paper works great for that as well too because you don't have to actually stick them down but you can move them around all right I knew I wanted one more cluster but before I did that cluster I put that title down because I know I want it up in the top um, left corner there of the photo I went back to my Fresh Cut sticker sheet and I found this tab sticker, so I'm going to place that down and then get a little bit of glue under it because that keeps coming up. And now I have this one sticker left. It's this little uh, banner piece sticker and I want that on this layout because that is going to finish off my sticker sheet. I did not want any more stickers left, so I'm just going to use it underneath this butterfly here. It, that butterfly keeps lifting everything off too, by the way, so I, I need to actually get it uh, glued back down. So now I'm going back to the puffy stickers here again. 
I placed a little bird up on the top left there. And then I'm going to take some of the flowers and scatter them around like enamel dots. And I am going to change where that blue flower went because a flower that was a good size was in pink and I didn't think that would look good on the pink background so I put the pink flower up uh, by the yellow butterfly. All right, so I have these enamel dots in a uh, kind of like a taupe color and they'll be perfect for this. They're hard to, that color is hard for me to use for some reason. So I'm just going to scatter those around. And I had these enamel dots. I had just a few of them left on the sheet and when I was going through my embellishments the other day, I realized it matched this collection perfectly. So I just stuck them in the envelope. I, sometimes I'll t do things like that and almost sort of create my own page kits or little additions to the page kits. I've done it with, on the bottom right by the scissors there, there's some Dear Lizzie buttons that I need to get used up and that's in the kit too, because they work as well. So I didn't know exactly where to journal. Moira journaled, I think, to the right of the square that set on point, but that just was not going to look good to my eye with this particular layout. I think she had um, a paper with lines in it, and I do not. So I'm actually just going to make it go around the bottom of the square. There's not much to tell other than that I enjoyed doing Yoga by the Pond on this day. I love it when I get to do it outside. So... There you go, and I'm just adding that date up there on the tab. So I am all done. Hope you're all well, and I will be seeing you again soon. Bye.